Well, hello there. My name is Patricia King, and I love helping people become all that they can be. I love coaching people to accelerate and to, to enjoy personal growth and development. Of course, as Christians, we know that all of that takes place because of the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, because he is so amazing. And he said, all things are possible, only believe. The scripture says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And when you believe that, you can run forward into a glorious future. But there's also all kinds of little practical things along the way that we read about in the Word and we have insight through the Word that will help you ensure success in what you put your hands to. You want to have a fruitful life for God and to bless the world around you and, and uh, to have that sense of fulfillment within. And you can do it because you're a champion. You're awesome, okay? So today I want to share some things that I've learned about the power of focus. There's something about focus in itself that when you come on a project with one thing rather than having a whole bunch of things, um, that focus creates a power within it to accelerate accomplishment. So I, um, I was just working recently with someone. Uh, we were doing a special project. And so we had definitely, we had a clear goal, a clear desire for what we were looking at. Our vision was clear. It was specific. We had dates. We had targets. I mean, everything was good as, as far as that goes. And we had a plan of action that involved certain steps that had to be done. And so when I was following up on this after the, um, you know, after we had had our initial meeting, discuss how we were going to do it, what people were involved in it, and we started implementing it, when I followed up on it, like three weeks later, nothing was done. And I said, well, we had a clear goal, a clear vision, and we had a clear plan of action, but what happened? Nothing is accomplished? This is not okay. This is, this is not okay. What happened? So then they began to share with me all these distractions that came in. Well, this happened. I, I started on this, but then that happened, and then I started on this, but then I got called to do this, and then I started on that, and then I, I thought, Ooh, I don't want to hear anymore. You are responsible for your time. You are the one that allows distraction or not. Any time that I get distracted is because I allowed it. But your focus on what you're doing at the time, if you can have accelerated, unbroken focus, you will have accelerated, unbroken fulfillment of dreams. It is so powerful, your focus. Sometimes, you know, because I'm a leader of ministry and dif different businesses, there's, you know, all of us can get overwhelmed initially with certain workloads and that. And, um, you know, I've, I've, I've got, you know, different ministries and activities from all over the world and different departments and projects and mandates and all kinds of things. So there are times when I can get overwhelmed when the workloads on every department line up and some of them crisscross and it gets convoluted and confusing. But what empowers me to finish strong is when I just take one thing and I put it down on my desk and I say, I am not leaving this until I get it done. And I will focus on that one thing until it comes to completion. I knock every distraction out of the way. I don't answer my phone. I don't answer the door. I don't answer to anyone. I just stay focused. If I can do that, I can get like two days of work done in two hours. Do you realize how much time we waste by having broken focus? If you can get focused on something and start in the beginning with no distractions, you can finish strong. But not only will you get it finished, the quality of work will be better. Because, you know, just, just, just face it. If you're working, you know, oh, let's say you're trying to bake a cake and you want a really good cake, okay? And so you put the flour in the bowl and you put a little bit of baking powder in it. And then, oh, shoot, I forgot. I didn't put my, uh, my laundry that was in the washer into the dryer. I'll go do that now. So then you go away and you throw the washer w w clothes into the dryer and turn the dryer on. You, you go back and say, okay, cake cake, right? Okay, I better add some sugar. Here's some sugar. And you do that and say, oh, I forgot to phone my mother-in-law. I was supposed to phone my mother-in-law. I better do that while I'm thinking about it right now. So then you go and do the mother-in-law. By the time that cake gets baked, it has no love in it, no 
focus on it, no attention given to it. And you'll be surprised at what happens in the spirit when you are completely focused on something. It actually adds blessing into your project. I can tell when a project is submitted to me whether a person's focus was in it or not. Because when their focus is really in it and they're going gung-ho, it has a life, it has an energy on the inside of it. So not only have they completed it well, but it also has this, this life in it that doesn't come when someone half-heartedly throws something together. And so focus is so important. You will accelerate. And I would highly recommend get the distractions. The young people today especially, they live in a big digital wor world. So they're trying to work and answer emails and Facebook and, you know, tweets and they get little things coming in on their texts. And I mean, it's just like, how do you get, I mean, what what is going to happen in this next generation? I mean, I've seen work uh, production accelerate when you remove all those options and you get people focused where they can't talk to anyone where they can't get up and do anything else except stay on their project they can accelerate I mean sometimes taking instead of two weeks to do something one day I'm not kidding you I know that that has happened so focus will help you not only to accomplish your dream your desire your goal it won't only help you stay on target with your plan of action, but it will create inside of what you're doing a beautiful life that that focus produces, and it'll accelerate your completion. So I hope that little tip, um, a life coaching tip, will help you the power of focus. God bless you.